Hi, welcome to our uh, videos on linear algebra, or just basically matrices for the Praxis 2. This is the Praxis, uh, I think it's the 0061, and they, and they ask questions in, in, on this test about when matrices are invertible or, or singular, or, and when do, can we do this, and usually they refer to, to a 2x2 two two matrix. So in a 2x2 two two matrix, um, one thing, we're not going to get into the details of why this makes sense, but you might recall the formula for finding the discriminant was, or excuse me, the inverse, sorry, the formula for finding the inverse of a matrix was 1 over A times D minus BC times A minus B minus C A, excuse me, so this D right here. So again, if you want to find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix, you take 1 over A times D minus BC, and that multiplied by D, right, minus B minus C, A. And that's assuming you're starting with an, an A, B, C, D matrix. So all, all you're doing really is plugging these numbers in. And one thing to notice is that, okay, well, um, when can't you have an inverse? Well, it's when... If so, if a d minus b c is zero, what happens? Well, one over zero is undefined. So if a d minus b c is zero, then you can't have an inverse. And actually, we call a d minus b c the discriminant. So basically, the idea is that discriminant. If you have a matrix and and you want to know if it's invertible, um, you, you look to see if the discriminant or when the discriminant is zero. So if the discriminant is zero, it can't be inverted. So here they want to know when is this discriminant 2x times 3, right? A, here's the, the matrix again, general form, A times D minus B times C. So when is 2x times 3 minus negative 4 times 12 equal to 0. What value of x makes that happen? So let's simplify this. We get 6x minus negative 48 or plus 48 equals 0. So when x equals, well, what's minus 48 divided by 6? Well, that equals, I think, 13, right? Yep, negative 13. So if x equals negative 13, then it is not invertible because a times d minus b times c would be zero and that would be undefined and in this type of problem pops up through different samples and here we have a another matrix so here for what value of d is the two by two matrix shown not invertible so same strategy right five times d five d minus one point five times two when does that equal 0? Well, well 1.5 times 2 is 3, so we have 5d minus 3 is 0, and 5d equals 3, so d equals 3 over 5, or 0.6. And when that happens, our discriminant is 0, and the, and the inverse is undefined. So in this, in this question, they change the phrasing by saying, which of the following matrices are non-singular? So if we have an inverse, so if we have an inverse, then a matrix, then a matrix is non-singular. And think about that, right? If if it almost makes sense in the in the language of it, if if no inverse, right, then it is singular. Meaning it has no inverse match, right? So if it has an in, if there is an inverse, then it's non-singular. And in this problem. Uh, they give us several matrices to choose from. We gotta figure out which ones are actually, which ones have an inverse. So we have a first one, it's negative three, five, negative six, ten. What, what is the discriminant of that? Well, it'll be negative three times ten minus negative six times five, which equals negative thirty minus negative thirty, so it's plus, so it's plus thirty and that equals zero. So this, this is singular. Right? It has no 
inverse. And up next, I think we're given okay, 4, 0, 0, 4. And this just equals 16 minus 0, which equals 16. Um, so that is non-singular. That's our first one. All right. And up next, we have 2, negative 5, 3, 6, 1, negative 4, and then a row of zeros. When this happens, when you have a row, row of zeros in your matrix, then you know that there's no, no inverse, so it is singular. Oops, singular. Now this is actually a this is a multiple choice question and in the third part right here we have right this matrix I'm not going to go into the details of how to find out if this has an inverse or not because really what happens in this problem is that you know that this the second one this is number two here's number one and number three and four you know the second one has to be non-singular I'm not going to bother figuring this out because the choice in this problem was C because 2 had to be an answer and it was paired with 4. So maybe in other videos I'll talk about the 3x3 three three or larger cases, but here our answer is obvious because it's multiple choice. And last we have, for what value of x is the matrix 1, 4, or x6 not invertible? So 1 times 6 minus 4x, when that equals 0, it's not invertible. So 4x equals 6 and x equals 6 over 4. Which, what's that? Well, 4 goes into 6 once with half left over, so it's 1.5. Or, you see it here, 3 over 2. So if x is 3 over 2, this matrix is not invertible. Okay, hope that helped.